all of that was a dollar ninety one. So if I ever get these listed on the EB EB on the EB store <laughs> on the eBay store, I think they'll make for a nice little flip. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And I'm at Craptastic Sam's this morning. And I'm about to head in here and see what kind of goodies they got, man. I'm in the mood for some vintage toys, some vintage goodness. 70s toys, 80s toys, 90s toys. We're gonna rock it out today, man. We're gonna find the goodies. So, hey, I'm glad you're along with me. We're gonna check the glass case. We're gonna rummage through some bags and check the shelves. Let's see what we got. What do we got in the glass case? Got the Star Wars vehicle. I think that's Anakin's speeder. Arcade Heroes, that's kind of cool looking. It looks like a Transformer. And then we've got this uh, Hitch and Hall Matchbox. What's this? Ricky Zoom, never heard of him. <laughs> All right, that's about it. And we do have this tank, which we saw last time, but it's missing, it's cannon, it's broken. All right, what do we got here? Oh wow, this Fred is still here. I feel like this bag's been here for like weeks. Oh, look at that cap gun. That is a monster, man. That thing is huge. Only five bucks for that? For the bag? Dang. What's that, like a shower head in there? <laughs> What's that? That cap gun is big though, man. Real thick. Oh, it looks like we got some old, like, uh, McDonald's toys or Burger King or something. Here's a Bobby from Bobby's World, this rabbit. That looks like it's a piece that goes to the game Mousetrap. I could be wrong on that. There's an old Easter bunny there. Clifford the dog. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna, 696 for that bag. Dang, well, let's put it in the cart. And here we've got a, a grenade that's kind of cool oh look at this surprise arcade heroes oh that's like the same thing they have up front there's a couple of them in there five bucks for the bag huh and we got a little bag of junk here oh look we've got an imagine next to batman oh, i actually have a couple of them in there there's one here and one right here and i don't know what this is something Batman related. Oh, there's another Imagine Next right there too. It's a buck 91 for the bag. That's not bad, right? There's a boat in there. Yeah, let's see, what do we have back here? Oh, we've got a TMNT, some sort of police car. It's a Tonka. Looks like it could be older. It's uh, faded. There's some Lego. That doesn't look like a bad bag either. Kind of like that Tonka. What's this? Maybe a Transformer face right there? Oh no, <laughs> it's a boat. <laughs> it's funny, I thought it was a face. All right, let me grab this bag too. I'll take a little closer look at, oh dang man, $9, forget about it. I'm not paying nine bucks for that. Check out that tiger. You could actually repaint that and make it look like Cringer for Masters of the Universe. There's a vintage dinosaur. That is cool. Oh, and it's just uh, another bag of dinos. Those are awesome. Seven bucks. Holy cow. All right. I'll think about it. All right. Let's see. What do we got on the shelves? Got a playset. Melissa and Doug horse stable. What's this here? Spider slam. Blast the spider before it pounces. Oh, that's cool like a Hot Wheels playset. And what do we got down here? We got an extra large Raphael. We got a football. Oh, here's a Iron Man and a Batman. Check it out, we got some bongos. We've got a Batman mask. And check it out. It's our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Ah, oh, check out that dude. Big old skateboarder. Ah, oh, check out this Peanuts Halloween clock. 
Oh, they want $2.41 for it. That is cool. I love peanuts. Oh, and they actually have two of them. The hand looks like it's a little loose here. I don't know if it's broken or just loose. Yeah, those are awesome, man. I really dig the cartoon art on this one. <laughs> Bottoms up. Ziggy. Who doesn't love Ziggy? All right, y'all. I got my haul. Let's head to the car. It's not that far. It's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. All right, guys, let me show you what I got. All right, first up, I got this super awesome 1982 Ziggy Bottoms Up Coffee Mug. And I got it for 99 cents. How cool is that, man? Like, like I said, who doesn't love Ziggy, you know? <laughs> He's just, I don't know. He's just cute and cuddly and awesome. So we got Ziggy and I also picked up these Imagine X figures. There was actually a Batman with his bat boat. I think this is supposed to be like a bat life preserver. <laughs> I don't know, but I stuck it on him. I thought it kind of reminded me of a life preserver. And then this guy, which, there's this thing here as well, but I've tried to get this on these guys and it doesn't seem to fit very well. So I'm gonna have to look into this and see how to actually get this thing to fit on these guys. I must be putting it on wrong. And then we've got this guy over here with his wingsuit and he's supposed to have like a couple of missiles or projectiles that come out of there. And they appear, there's a little button on the back. Let me see if I can grab them here. There's a little button on the back where you can fire those missiles. So these little red things here would, you know, push them down, lock them into place. And then you push this and he would fire his missile. So I thought he was kind of cool. And then we got this guy right here on his bat cycle. How cool is that thing, man? He even has his helmet on. All right. All of that was $1.91. So if I ever get these listed on the EB, EB, on the EB store, <laughs> on the eBay store, I think they'll make for a nice little flip. I might be able to get 20 bucks out of them. So, all right, up next, the thrift store. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the thrift store, the thrift store. All right, so we're gonna head in here, see if we can find some goodies on the shelf, see if we can find some vintage toys. That's the name of the game, brothers and sisters. Vintage toys. Let's see what they got. What do we got here? Starting lineup. They want like 13 bucks each for those. I should message my buddy Keith and see if he wants them. Can I see this right here? That Marvel box. Oh, that's cool. Thank you. They want like nine bucks for it. It's worth like 10. So I'm not uh, not into that figure really much at all. I was gonna get it to maybe just, you know, list it up, resell it, that sort of thing. So we're gonna pass. All right, what do we got in baggy land over here? Got a lot of smalls in this bag. Same with this one. There's an Imagine X Power Ranger, I think. Oh no, that's not Imagine X. It's got a little stand on it. Maybe like a little Dollar Tree. Power Ranger, a lot of smalls, holy cow. A lot of tiny, tiny little toys in here today. There's another Power Ranger. That sucks that they put them in separate bags. Yeah, here's a big bag of like construction stuff. What are these? Oh, it's like Halloween decorations. All right, y'all. Busted. So the marble figure wasn't worth it. The baseball players, I didn't want them, but I sent them over to Keith to take a look at, but he hasn't seen the message yet. And I can't hang out here all day, Keith. Gotta be on top of your game. I thought they were a little expensive anyway. They were like 13 bucks. 
for the two pack. I don't know, maybe that's a good price. I don't collect those things. He does though. So, but again, I thought they're a little on the, little on the high side. So let's go check out the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage toys for your boy. Let's head in there and see what we can find. All right, well, let's see, what do we got? Got a big bug, emergency police car. I'll check out this big blue dragon. Damn. Let's see, what else do we got? Any other goodies? Doesn't look like it. Hey, look at this Disney castle. That is awesome. Oh wow, yeah, look at the back side of it. Man, I only want six bucks for it. That is super cool, man. Too bad it's too big to ship. You know, that'd be something you'd want to list like on Facebook Marketplace or something like that. All right, guys. Busted. Busted at the Goody Wheel. All right, we got one more stop today. We're going to go hit up Craptastic Sam's sister location. Let's head that way. I'll see you over there. All right, my friends. Final destination. Craptastic Sam's, a.k.a. Plaza Thrift. Let's head in here. Let's check the glass case. The world famous glass case. This is not this here is another world famous glass case. So is Thrift Shitty. So, which is a store we hit up on our Friday adventures. But uh, we'll check the glass case. We'll rummage through some bags. We'll check the shelves. Maybe just maybe we'll finish strong today. Actually, I can feel it already. We're gonna finish strong. Gotta gotta think positive. You know. All right, guys, let's see what they got. Oh, check this out. I actually bought this exact same one not too long ago. That army helmet's still here. I think it's overpriced. Anything else? Any other goodies? There's some arrows for archery. But uh, I'm not really seeing anything else. Oh, no. Look, this guy. He's trapped. He's never going to get out of there. Oh, that's a cool little TMNT table. What do we got over here? We got a La La Loopsie. This thing is still here. It's made by Young Living. Let's see, what else? What's this guy? Is this Darth Vader? Oh yeah, it's Darth Vader and he's missing his lightsaber as usual. I've never found him ever once with his lightsaber and I've probably seen at least a hundred of these over the last two years. Oh, here's Luke. So we got Luke. We got, let's put these guys over here. Let's stand them up side by side. How's that sound? We'll put, uh, put the boy with his daddy. Hmm, they should have made these to scale. I mean, Vader is such a towering figure, you know? There we go. Yeah, no sabers. Oh. Look how old Luke's hand look. It's it's all wrinkled up and stuff. We got Elsa. Some baby dolls. Oh, here's a stormtrooper. Oh, that's like a that's the kind I like. That's the original stormtrooper helmet. Oh yeah, look at these guys. Let me move this out of the way. Move him back a little bit. There we go. This way. They don't get knocked off too easy. I'm sure they'll fall at some point during the day. Oh, check this thing out. Oh, it's like a music box. I oh, wonder how old that thing is. It looks old. What do they want for that? Three bucks? It's kind of neat. All right, I'll think about that. Oh, we got a Bugs Bunny stretchy uh, stretchy figure he's all coming apart though his paint's all wearing off <sighs> probably got the coof all over my hand now hunger games district district <laughs> district 12 what else do we got 
Oh yeah, this thing is still here. I think this is a cool vehicle. Just don't have any room for it at the moment. Air jet power and nerf. There's an owl. All right, well, I'm not really seeing anything else. However, I am pretty interested in this. I just, you know, I like stuff that's medieval. I'm gonna carry this with me. We might, uh, might pick this up. All right, what do we got here? Just a bag of junk. Oh, there's some sort of figure right there. Oh, he's like a Fortnite figure. I've seen him before. He's kind of cool. A lot of the bags are empty, like don't have any toys in them. They got like utensils or plushies or just crap. Like this, big bag of crap. <laughs> there's, a, there's a Donald Duck and like a Thomas the Tank Engine type of train. Here's some dinosaurs. What's this? Oh, that's a Goofy. I guess that probably goes with that Donald Duck. See, I hate it when they put them in separate bags. They should put them all together, you know? It'd be more sellable, you know? They're, yeah, I don't like that. All right, so we got some MLP in here, some trolls. And that's about it. Well, here's a bag of dinos and like a prehistoric horse. Oh, look at this. We got all kinds of wildlife in here. We've got turkeys, we've got turtles, rams, horses or donkeys, dinosaurs, camels, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, check this out. The real Ghostbusters cartoon on VHS. That's awesome. That is so awesome. All right, what else do we got over here? We got the Star Wars trilogy. Let's see. What's up here? We got any more cartoons? really seeing anything here's an Indiana Jones but I've already got that so I don't need that two of Texas oh too bad that wasn't like Texas Chainsaw Massacre that'd be awesome what's this Stargate oh yeah that was a good movie looks like it's still sealed all right y'all I got my haul let's head to the car it's not that far, it's time for show and tell. It's time for show and tell. So I think you guys pretty much pretty much already know what I got, but let's uh, get to the car and let's wind up this music box. It's kind of cool, I did pick it up. And I got the real Ghostbusters VHS tape, even though the corners of it are a little bent. I've never seen one, so I had to get it. All right, first up. The Real Ghostbusters 1986 cartoon on VHS. This is actually just wax pen, so that comes off, that 95 cents I paid for it, that comes off pretty easy with just a regular pencil eraser. The box that does look a little faded out, you know, I'm not sure if maybe this was supposed to be all red around Slimer, or maybe it's supposed to just kind of be speckled like that but man check out the artwork on that that is awesome here's the cartoon on the back it's called knock knock so i can't wait to watch that so i picked this up and then i got the music box oh you know i just noticed <laughs> oh man it's missing some pieces some pieces fell off look right there see this is why you look close at this kind of stuff I just spent three dollars on this too so but hey you know it's still kind of cool and if we open it up it still works I'm pretty sure it's pretty old looks like it might be missing something right there oh yeah and then it's missing another one of these red things right here so it's missing some pieces but it's still pretty neat and i think it'll be good just for like a little display in my bunker next to my castle so yeah anyway i got this for three bucks you know because uh i love just buying junk 
add more junk to my junk. <laughs> so, hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you and as much as I'm enjoying finding vintage 80s stuff, man, we, we scored some vintage 1980s today. You can't go wrong with that, but hey, if you are enjoying the content, hit the like button. That helps me out, helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 500 videos that you can start watching right now. Right now, right now, oh yeah. <laughs> you can start binge watching them right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.